All right, well, his success has truly been one of the feel-good stories in mixed martial arts over the last several years. Charles Oliveira kind of left for dead by people in 2018, then went on to become the best lightweight in the world and still believes he can be that yet again if he can get a win tonight. He's got to win tonight. He's got to get going in the right direction. You lose your championship in the way that he did. You question whether or not Oliveira has the mental makeup to get back going in the right direction. How can you question it, though, when we have seen what he has done prior? This guy has a tremendous striker, unbelievable jiu-jitsu. If you're on the ground with him, you're constantly in danger. He can submit you from any single position. Charles Oliveira is special, man, and it's always fun to be able to call one of his fights. And I'm not sure minute for minute there is a more exciting fighter in mixed martial arts today than Charles Oliveira. And thankfully, the MMA masses get to watch him compete yet again here tonight. Well, there's always a special feeling when Hamza Chimaev makes the walk, whether at welterweight or at middleweight. This man has proven to be a real problem and really has lived up to all the hype and then some dating to his 2020 UFC debut. It's so hard for you to meet expectation, much less exceed it. Right. Hamza Chimaev has exceeded the expectations set for him when he made his UFC debut. He has been nothing short of a buzzsaw, just going through guys at a rate that not anyone could have expected. What a fantastic fighter we get to watch every time we see Hamza in the octagon. And of course, many people harken back to the Gilbert Burns fight in 2022, the consensus fight of that year in which Chimaev was challenged and still rose to the occasion. We'll see how he fares tonight. All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Charles the Bronx Oliveira. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed. UFC welterweight champion of the world, Hamzat Bosch Chibayev. Herbert Dean's in the building. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, early portions of the round, we will see how it goes for Charles Oliveira. This man has every skill you would want in a mixed martial artist, and that's why he has gone from, you know, middling featherweight at times to one of the greatest lightweights of all time. He's taking the path of least resistance tonight. I watch Hamza Chimaev, and I'm always amazed at his ability to not only get takedowns, but get them so easily. And it seems like it takes so little effort to get the fight to the ground. He will tell you what he's going to do, and he is constantly doing exactly that. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangle. Working from the top here. Pretty good grounded pound here by Hamza Chimai. All right, rubber guard for him now, DC. We haven't seen you lean on this in the octagon. Yet. No, I, I can't get those <laughs> legs up there. Come on, man, look at these tree trunks. They don't go up around nobody's shoulders. I like to keep my feet on the ground, and I like to grind. That's what I'm known for. But this guy has that dexterity. He has that ability to throw up the rubber guard, to be able to threaten from a position 
where his opponent was trying to find safety. There are many, many attacks here. Let's see which one he chooses to go after. That was a slick transition. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. That's a heck of a strike to land from bottom position. Oh, these are some serious power punches from the top by Chimaya. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, right into Mount. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of this game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the same. Oh! So there's the horn. Let us now look back at some of the action in that round, DC. And he had his takedown game going early and off. Yeah, he had it going great. I mean, he did a great job of finding his entries, rushing to his finishes before his po opponent could react and defend him. He should be Ready very proud of the work he did Ready. over the course of that last round. Ready. Round two on the way. J.J. Practitioner not attempt a single takedown. What gives? I have no idea. He's not even tried to get this fight to the ground. I don't know what's happening. Or maybe something happened earlier in the fight that's deterred him from fighting the fight that we have come to expect. It's not, it is, it is, I mean, I cannot believe what we are watching. Looking for the guillotine lock right now, and it looks like it's in. He's done a great job of securing it. But now he's... And there's the top! for this fighter here tonight, called his shot, gets the win by way of submission. That after party's gonna be on fire. He got to his position, he found the submission, he squeezed and got it done. It was amazing to watch, and it was amazing to be a part of the broadcast for such an amazing performance. All right, let's go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute. 16 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. And new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Charles the Bronx Oliveira. All right, so another win by submission for the UFC's submission king, Charles Dubronx Oliveira. Nobody's ever done it better. No one 